Hi Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. This is Dane, and I am going to be doing your February 11th through the 20th, 2019 reading for you. Now I ask that you guys give this video a thumbs up. Also, make sure you subscribe to my channel. This is the way you let YouTube know that you're appreciating the content that I'm putting up, and you help this little tiny channel keep growing and growing. You guys are absolutely amazing. So thank you so much for your support. I'm absolutely humbled by it, and I absolutely love reading for you guys each and every week. So let's see what these 10 days have in store for you. And if you would like to book a private reading with me or donate to my channel, all that information will be in the description box below. So let's see Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, what February 11th through the 20th, 2019 has in store for you. Capricorn, February 11th through the 20th, 2019. Capricorn, February 11th through the 20th, 2019. Capricorn, February 11th through the 20th, 2019. Capricorn, February 11th through the 20th, 2019, Capricorn. 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 Show me clearly, show me clearly. February 11th through the 20th, 2019, okay. Let's see what spirit has to say. You have a Taurus energy around you. All right, Capricorn. You have a fire sign, an Aries, a Leo, a Sagittarius. And then there you are. You're represented by the pentacles in the minor arcana. This could also be reiterating this Taurus energy. This could also be a Virgo for some of you. You have lovers here, which is beautiful. This also shows a Gemini. You have a lot of people here. Change is coming. And you have that Virgo. So you have the Taurus and the Virgo coming through as you have yourself represented here by the Queen of Pentacles. You have a Gemini coming in. You have fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You have a lot of change around you. Things are, things are really changing up. And you have these people here who are going to help you move forward. And you have a love that is coming into your life. Now, for some of you, if you're already in a relationship and you're like, Dane, I already have a love in my life. I'm really quite good. Thank you very much. You know, this is, yep, yeah, this is you focusing on that prosperity, focusing on where it is that you want to be. Yep, yeah, this is passion and new beginnings. And this is saying that at times you're going to have a lot of doubt and fear because I feel as if a lot of things are changing for you, Capricorn. A lot of ways that you're seeing things, a lot of information that you're taking in, divine messages, all right? coming your way, but also a sense of a younger energy around you, of a fire sign, an Aries, a Leo, Sagittarius. This is somebody who is very youthful or has a very youthful energy to them. They're going to be giving you a message. They're going to be helping you understand something that you're kind of stuck, okay? You're having this change come around you and you're looking at everything and you're thinking, oh my gosh, you know, is it happening too fast? Or am, I, am I moving too fast? For some of you, this is going to be with love. For some of you, you're going to be falling in love. Okay. That's interesting. For some of you, you're going to have a choice between falling in love with a Taurus or a Virgo. This is an earth sign energy. This is somebody who's very, very grounded. Okay. The Taurus is going to kind of, you're going to relate to them better because you're going to find the introspection of the Virgo to be a little bit frustrating. And you want somebody who's going to be able to keep up with you, Capricorn. You don't want somebody who is, whose passions aren't going to match yours. So some of you are going to be a little bit frustrated. Now, it doesn't mean that this love has to be a romantic relationship. Okay, though for some of you, it will very much be one. For others of you, this is looking at a business partnership. This is looking at a way that you're going to work together with other people with in a community-like setting. And you are seeing you know, who you like working with best or the different styles that you like working with people. And I know this sounds odd, but this is, with Telesyn, this is the Hierophant. This is you nurturing something and having a sense of being able to communicate, sharing of ideas, and that's going to be something that you absolutely love. Being listened to, having people, you know, take in your words, and this is actually going to be a time, after a time of great introspection for you. Okay, you've been working on something, you've been working on building something, you've been working on an idea, a way that people see things, 
okay? For each and every one of you, it's going to be different because this is a general reading, but for a lot of you, you're embracing what it is that you love and you're letting people see it. It's being nurtured, it's growing. For others of you, there might be this little bit of a lover's triangle that's going on. You know, two people that you really like. One is really outgoing, the other is much more introspective. So it doesn't have to be that they're earth signs. What it could be is one person, you know, just kind of goes after what it is that they want. You really love that about them. And the other person really thinks about things and has you, you know, has kind of deep philosophical thoughts and you love that about them. But this is a time of really getting out there. So you're being more drawn towards this Hierophant card because there's passion here that you're embracing. And that passion is moving you forward. Now, for those of you who are in a relationship, this is embracing that tradition. And this is looking at things and turning inward and saying, we're embracing our passion as things are changing around you, as you're moving to that next stage of your love, as you're moving and embracing the prosperity that is your birthright, Capricorn. You're also starting something new. For a lot of you, you're starting a new a new business venture, a you have a new idea. It's something that I think you're keeping to yourself. It's something that you're keeping to yourself and now you're going to see things start to evolve, start to move forward, and you're going to end with a change coming that has you much more in the public eye. Yeah. And for others of you, this Gemini here, could help you find love. I don't think you're falling in love with a Gemini, though you might be, <laughs> because there's so, there's so much energy around you that this seems just like a great time of love for you. But you're moving forward in love. You're moving forward in prosperity. And I think you're going to see things really start to change in June. Okay, we're starting with the Hierophant. Now here it's represented by Taliesin, who is a bard, okay? In the Rider Waite Smith deck, this is represented by a Pope-like figure sitting with monks at his feet. So this is tradition. This is wealth and prosperity. This is a sense of authority. This is what you are representing within yourself. But this is also what you are being attracted to right now during these 10 days. There's a sense of you being seen more, paying very close attention to your words, paying very close attention to what it is that you want, how it is that you want to move forward in your life, you know, where it is that you want to be. There's this strong Taurian energy around you, okay? So for some of you, I'm picking up that these are people and there's this huge love that is coming through here. But I think for a lot of you, this isn't a love relationship reading. This is a sense of you kind of taking that bull by the horns and saying, this is where I want to be within my life. This is where I want to stand. This is my truth. This is my tradition, okay? Because of the orthodoxy that the Hierophant card represents, it doesn't have to be an orthodoxy of faith, okay? It doesn't have to be an orthodoxy of somebody else that you are following. It has to be your orthodoxy, all right? This is your truth. This is your soul, your soul and this is your story. So as you are embracing your prosperity, as you are embracing the way that you are moving forward, you are going to find that you have to stay very, very true to yourself during these 10 days. Because during these 10 days, you are going to feel at times that you're tested. You're going to feel at times that it'd be easy to do something that kind of goes against what it is that you want and where it is that you want to be. Stay true to yourself. Be that stubborn Taurian, you know, even though you are a stubborn Capricorn, you know, Embrace where it is that you want to be. And this is saying kind of you're being very, very rooted, very grounded. And that's the energy that you're embracing to help you move forward. Pay attention to your words. Your words are so important to you during these 10 days. What you say to yourself, what you think to yourself, the way that you're thinking about love and prosperity and where it is that you want to be and how it is that people want, to, how you want people to see you. That is so important because you're thinking about it. You're saying, you know, how, how do I want people to view me? How do I want people to embrace where I'm going and who I am? Because there's a sense, there's just this huge sense of love around you. 
A love that gives you wings. A love that's blessed by the angels. A love that moves you forward. Now, I would say this love has a strong connection to a Taurian, but this could also be a Gemini here. But this is also you embracing a duality of your nature. And I would say that your duality of your nature, because you have all, you have all the earth signs represented here, but you also have the fire signs. So it's a mix. It's being very focused on this earthly plane, on a progression of you moving forward. But it's saying here, what is the prosperity that you want, the wealth, the abundance, and what is the passion? Because those two are coming together. Because it could be the duality of the twins that is playing that is playing out during these 10 days. And that's why things happen quickly, but you need to take it all in. That's why you have this maturity of reason with this youthful exuberance. All right? And that's why you have this queen energy here guiding it all together with love, with harmony, with understanding to embrace these new beginnings that are coming your way. <coughs> Excuse me. Your next card is the Page of Wands. Now this represents an Aries, a Leo, a Sagittarius. This right here, this hair, also represents mysticism, magic, you know, witches, that kind of stuff were represented by the hairs in Celtic motifs. So what this is saying to me is that you are going to be guided by a divine force as you are moving forward in your passion. You're going to be getting messages. These messages are going to help bring clarity to what it is that you want, to where it is that you're going. They could come through a fire sign, an Aries, a Leo, a Sagittarius, but it's going to more likely be related to your passions, be related to the way you want things to move forward, the way you want things to progress within your life. This is you listening to the messages, and this is you embracing where it is that you want to be. This can also represent a youthful Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius who might say something in passing, because I don't think that this is... The Page of Wands doesn't seem as connected as the Hierophant and the Hermit do. I'm not getting as strong a read off them. So this could be something in, pas in passing that kind of ignites your passion, that makes you look at things differently, that makes you see things differently, or this could be a message that you get from the divine, from the universe, that sets a spark within your imagination, within your thoughts, within yourself, and you go, you know, but what about this? And just seeing something ever so slightly differently starts to bring in changes, starts to move things forward. Now, this is a change of majesty. This is a change that you are embracing to help you get to where it is that you want to be, to help you embrace what it is that you desire. And you're going to step back and you're going to say, oh, wait, no, that might be a little crazy. Now, this isn't saying at all, in any way, shape, or form, that the message that you're getting is going to be to completely uproot your whole entire life and change everything. You, what I'm getting here is that you keep your responsibilities, you keep true to yourself, but there's a change that is coming in that is going to be impactful, that is going to be, you know, very resonant with your soul. And you're going to have to take a moment to say, you know what, is this what I want to do? Now, for some of you, yes, it might be that you get this message of passion and you wind up rethinking your whole entire life, the, the path that you are on. But remember, always remember your responsibilities. Okay? Always remember, you know, what it is that is required of you as you're moving forward on this earthly realm. But you're taking it all in. And then you'll be acting. You'll be moving forward with passion, with ideas, with understanding. Because here you are, Capricorn, represented by the Queen of Pentacles. You have love crowning you. You have love embracing you during this, these whole 10 days. So during these 10 days, to follow what it is that you love, to be where it is that you want to be, is going to be absolutely paramount. And it doesn't mean that you have to be in love with everything that you do every moment of every day. That's unrealistic. What this is saying here is that your heart and your soul are going to be uplifted. It's going to be moving you forward. So, okay, so what I'm saying here is if you're in a job that you absolutely hate, and we've all been there, you know that job where, you know, 
you might, it might be a really fun job and you know exactly how long it takes the police to get to where it is that you work to deal with disturbances and stuff like that. If you're in a job that drains your soul, now it's time to start looking at something that is going to build you up. It's going to get you that prestige that you want, that prosperity that you want, but also it's going to be resonant with your soul, following your truth. There's a passion that is going to be leading you forward. This could be the same for a relationship. Love is crowning you. So you, for those of you who are looking for love, and oh goodness, okay, I completely forgot about Valentine's Day. I always do. <laughs> it's so terrible. Um, for those of you who are looking for love, during these 10 days, you're going to find that you have options that you might never have thought of, and you wind up really hitting off with someone, and it winds up moving kind of quickly, and you have to step back and say, okay, turn it inward, look at what it is that you really want, and know that this passion is growing, so make a wise decision. Don't rush anything. When if, For those of you who are resonating with this love growing, because it could be a love triangle for some of you, you know, kind of things have gotten maybe a bit out of hand or, you know, you didn't, yeah, it could be just a little bit messy for some of you, not in a bad way, but just in a way where now you have two people to choose from and you don't know who it is that you really want. Listen to your heart, but also listen to your mind because those two things are going to lead you forward to be with the person that you want to be with. It's a budding passion. Also the person who doesn't rush you, who doesn't sit there and say, well, you have to make this decision now. You know, I'm not going to wait all day. Somebody who is very understanding, very, you know, I want to say gentle about the process. That's the person that you want to be with. Of course, you make your own choices and the cards are just guidance. But I would definitely say that person who is more understanding to what it is that you want, Capricorn, where it is that you want to be, that's the person that you want to stand beside. You're embracing love. You're leaving behind your sorrows, your pain, the, the heartbreak that you have been through. You're not forgetting it, but it, does no, it doesn't have a place anymore in the forefront of, of your mind. Things are going to be changing too much for you to be dwelling on the past. You're going to be turning inward, following your majesty, following your wisdom, setting yourself free, having your passion and your creativity guide your steps. There is a shedding of a skin. There's a letting go of something, which I think is reiterated here. Not I think, I know, is reiterated here with the poppies behind you. You don't need it anymore. You're moving forward to somewhere else. You're moving forward to a place that is more true for your soul than where you have been standing for probably a little while now. Your clarifying cards are all about prosperity. Prosperity of community, prosperity of wisdom, sharing your wealth and your knowledge with others, but always making sure you have a reserve, okay? Always making sure, Capricorn, and I know I say this, and I don't mean it to sound selfish, but what I'm saying here is that you have to take care of yourself. If you take care of everybody else and then you remember to finally take care of Capricorn, that's not going to work because you're going to be too depleted. Your energy is going to be too drained. This is a time for you to look at you and say, yes, you need a community around you. Yes, you need people who you love and you trust. You might not have that right now. For some of you, you definitely do. But for others of you, you might be building it. But this is saying, do not give away everything in order to have people around you. This is a balance. And the balance does not involve people always taking and taking and taking. Because this is a new beginning with people who honor and respect you. And at times you're going to feel overwhelmed. At, at times you're going to feel kind of trapped. Turning this way and that, not knowing which way to turn, emotions running high. Focus on these blessings that you are getting. This is a gift from God's source spirit, the Ace of Wands. A passion, new beginnings. Okay? Great romance is going on here for some of you. This is a really heightened time in relationships. Focus on what it is that you desire and don't overthink everything because the Eight of Wands warns of overthinking. It warns, not Eight of Wands, Eight of Swords warns of overthinking. It warns of questioning and re-questioning yourself and saying, oh no, I couldn't possibly do this because you're going to have, with an eight count here, you have a repeat of the number eight. And with this eight count here, you are going to have something happening. Probably on the eighth day, you start to see changes and it's going to kind of freak you out. You're going to go, oh my gosh, no, 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 no. I need to step back. I need to regroup. I need to re-understand this. I don't know how I want to move forward. You know, you're looking at things differently. This is saying here, to let, think about the change, but let this change happen organically. For some of you, it's going to be large. For others of you, it's going to be small. This is a general reading. It's going to be different for each and every one of you. But it is going to be a change 
that brings about a shift in your perception of yourself because you've been turning inward for quite some time, looking at things, understanding where your passion is, understanding where it is that you want to be. But this change comes in. And then you see yourself kind of standing forward. And you're embracing what it is that you love. You're embracing where it is that you want to go. You're embracing maybe the love between two people here. You know, between two different types of people. You're looking at one person, much more introspective, much more reserved. And this is a, a budding passion, okay? And another person who is much more confident, much more out there, much more, you know, sure of themselves. You're going to find the person who matches with your soul, who kind of compliments you, your twin, okay? It could be a twin flame here. That could definitely be it. But there is this sense here of finding that person who mirrors what it is that you want. And for those of you who are looking for that love, this is saying to leave behind sorrow and know that the person who is kind and understanding is going to be the person that you are going to be more drawn to. And it's going to be a way, there's going to be a way that spirit lets you know. It's going to be different for each and every one of you, but there is going to be a way that spirit lets you know. For those of you who aren't interested in love, this is saying that you have turned inward. You have looked at things, you have, you know, had your passion kind of guide your way, and now you are embracing where it is that you want to be. This could be a young fire sign, an Aries, a Leo, a Sagittarius, who gives you a message. It's kind of more in passing. So be kind of mindful of what you're taking in. This is going to be something that sits within your mind. You know, even if somebody just says it and you go, uh huh, yeah, because you're busy doing half a million other things, it's going to be something that kind of takes root. It's going to change the way you're, that you're looking at things. And it's going to say that where you once were turning inward, you have already changed. And now it is time to embrace that change and share it with those around you. This is following your traditions. This is following your orthodoxy. This is being very, very mindful of the words that you say to yourself and the way that you think of things. Because you're going to be falling in love with your life, with where it is that you want to be. The angels are going to be guiding you. You're also going to have this duality of nature, of your personality. So on one side, you're going to have a sense of being more introverted, of really looking at things for these 10 days. And then on the other side, you're going to be out there. You're going to be talking. You're going to be seeing. You're going to be sharing communications. You're going to be, you know, building your business or your network or whatever it is that you want. So this is a balance coming between the hermit and the hierophant that is going to bring you what it is that you love. Because you're embracing this queen energy, your divine right to have the prosperity that you desire moving forward in love and leaving behind sorrow. There's a sense of you working with a community here, but also a sense of, of you not giving all of yourself and never recharging your battery. You have to keep yourself recharged, Capricorn. That's absolutely important. If you get nothing else from this message, from this reading, then take away that you have to keep yourself recharged to be able to take in the blessings and the new beginnings that are going to come your way because there's a sense of doubt and fear. Something is going to happen within an eight count, eight days, eight weeks, eight months, eight years, Okay, it could be for eight months, eight years. It's been a while that you've had to turn inward, that you've had to kind of step back and, and reevaluate what it is that you want, to see your passion and to be able to talk with confidence and to be able to embrace the confidence as you move forward to the ne next stage in your journey and embrace what it is that you love. It could be a healing that has happened in an eight count. You thought, oh my gosh, it's never going to happen. And now it is because you have turned inward and you've had, you've embraced where it is that you want to be. And now you stand in your truth. You follow your traditions. You have these divine messages coming your way and you're embracing what it is that you love so that you stand tall and firm, but absolutely and positively yourself in your confidence, in your understanding and in your joy. This is a gift of passion. This is a gift of new ideas. This is a gift of looking at things differently. Take it. Take this gift from the divine, from the universe. It's going to lead you forward in a way that might be very overwhelming, but in a way that you are going to celebrate and be absolutely enthused by as time goes on. Your subconscious message 
is the five of wands. And that makes perfect sense with the sense of needing to turn inward, but then needing to be seen. There's going to be an internal kind of warring going on with you, Capricorn. And this is why you need to recharge your battery and not give and give and give because you're going to want to. You're going to say, oh no, I don't need to turn inward. I need to be seen more. Or no, I can't be seen more. I need to turn inward. And you're not going to give yourself time to be charged by either one of those activities. By sharing your ideas with others and having a free flowing conversation or, you know, kind of ideas coming your way. And you're not going, or if you turn inward, when you turn inward, you're going to recharge your battery, look at things, see what other people have said, put things together. So this is saying here to let yourself calm down, to breathe, to center yourself, and know that your passions are going to lead you forward. Know that you are going to be guided to where it is that you need to be as you embrace what it is that you want. Okay, Capricorn. It has been an absolute pleasure reading for you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. Oh, I just saw a five count here. It could be five tries before you stand tall and you know what it is that you want. So don't give up on yourself at all, Capricorn. Because it might not be within, it doesn't look like this is within this time frame here, but this is five times that you have tried something, five somethings that have happened that has, has made you kind of doubt and f be fearful or something to that effect. And now you're embracing this Hierophant energy. You're embracing this way that you move forward. You're embracing your truth and your prosperity. Okay, Capricorn. I hope this reading has resonated with you. Thank you for giving the video a thumbs up. Also, thank you for subscribing to my channel. You guys are absolutely amazing. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. And may harmony always be with you. Bye.